Welcome back guys, it's Cancer PL and um we're continuing on with Metroid Fusion. In the last episode we got um totally destroyed by computer by what we did. Mr. Mystery Action. The real Adam would have said the same thing about what about that incident. But he would have softened the blow. He was relentless in his criticism, but he always cared. He was not a machine obsessed with duty. No such compassion could exist in that computer. Wow. Alright, well, we're back in the Sector 1. Uh, well, we have to go up to a navigation room, so I guess we just gotta work on what we're doing. Let's find, find out what we're doing here. Alright. In this room here, uh, you can do two things. You can use a deep fusion missile, or if you really don't want to use that, you could just normal missile this area right here to get this energy tank. Alright, with that out of the way, let's just... Fall on down, just run past these two guys, pull a missile up and shoot this guy. You can actually glitch through him, which is really weird. But I don't really question it. So we move on. Okay, now in this room, uh, you can kinda just go by the enemies, but if you want to take less damage and you will have a charge shot out, so you only get hit a couple times, that will be Alright now in this room, at this the point right there where the middle shot is, you get to shoot three missiles there. Or you can use the deep fusion missile again. I just chose to shoot three missiles that time. Alright, now if you want to land more problems here and climb up this ladder, make sure you have the charge shot and don't go all the way up. You want to be able to kill this space pirate here, because it can be pretty much a nuisance. Now when you go to the next room, it's going to be pretty interesting. There's going to be enemies on the ground and a pillar in front of you. Do not shoot the pillar and just kill the enemies. Okay. Now you want to make sure you grab their axe before they make a golden pirate. Now if you hit the golden pirate once, you actually can just run into him normally. And he will die unless I didn't run into him the first time. Or that's not working. Okay, normally that works. And he makes himself again. The reason I say don't try to get the axe is because then you won't have to deal with that issue. Alright, so first hit. Second hit. Yes, it only takes two shot shots to kill them. And actually, after you kill the golden pirate, you're basically done with that room. Alright, now above you is going to be a save room, but if you don't need a save like me, you'll just fall down. Now to the right, it's just going to be a room of basically nothing. You can just recharge your stuff in here before you fight, I'm just going to say, before you fight a boss which is coming up. So if you want to do some recharging, then go ahead. But you don't really have to. Golden pirates, or not? I want to do it. Spawn behind them. Hello. Ow. And you're dead. Oh wait. It normally takes only two hits. All right. So you're dead. So we lost a little bit more life, but hey, whatever. Okay. Now we're gonna go into this room. In this room, uh, if you want to not get hit, just use a defusion missile to just freeze a bunch of the guys and uh, equip another one as you're moving along and use it if you don't want to get hit if you don't care then just walk through we have another door which means one thing boss yep we have another boss but at least that means we get our last ability which is screw attack now to start this boss which you can now see is Ridley you have to walk up to him and make sure you have the charge shot because the charge shot beam since the, um, the charge wave beam it actually pierces through the enemy really and actually does double damage compared to the rockets so you're going to want to use charge shot on this boss and other than the rockets unless you get stuck in a corner then just unleash rockets until you really get you out of the corner now i shot a little too early but you basically get the idea here now this is going to go really slow so i might speed it up because of just the epic slowdown i'm getting Ow. Now, one thing to note about this is the fact that you cannot uh, shoot through the tail. So, if his tail, if you hit the, if your shot hits the tail, you can't really do anything about it. All right. So you kind of want to aim for the head. That's like the best place to aim. Now, if you get grabbed, I really do a charge shot and just release a missile into his face. So when you're fighting Ridley, you just kind of want to be aware of not getting caught by his tail and kind of staying close to the walls if you can, and just stay under him. 
if he grabs you, he doesn't really do too much, so it's not that bad. And if you stay under him, he usually just kind of walks back and forth. Now be careful, as I said, because he can, as he just did to me a little second ago, he can hurt you. Alright, so we're almost done. Ugh, he's good. And we're done. Now really still can still hurt you, so beware. Alright, now it's time to fight the last X. Uh, the last version of this X at least. Oh crap. And a shot. Alrighty. Almost done guys. Taking on. Uh, oops, I didn't look up too well. Alright, and one more, and BAM! Alright, and we obtained the screw it sack. Now, now we can do the ultimate attack in any metric game. So now we have every single ability we can get in the game, which is awesome. Okay, now what's gonna happen is I'm going to get the last few items in this part right here. So, in the Ridley area, I guess you could say, which is actually connected to um, Sector 1. So I'm gonna get the last few items in this place, and then I'm just gonna kinda leave. I'm not gonna leave. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what I did for... Oops. Oh, screw this. Just use the screw attack to basically kill everything now. You don't need to really do anything else. What I'm gonna do is after I get the items, I'm actually going to... Um, Go and get. Oh wait, wrong word. I'm gonna do what I did for Metroid Zero Mission. Funny word to be nice. Which was I'm going to do the um, uh, the getting all the items exactly the same way because I found that way worked out very nicely. So I'm gonna put it together exactly the same way. I don't know if I can fit everything into this one video here, but I don't. I'll try. I'll do the best I can. I don't want to stretch it on too long. But most likely it will be this video, the end of this video, and then the next one. Alright, so that power bomb tank, as you can see, is pretty simple. You just need to make sure you have screw tech and screw tech to put the ground there. I'll just show you how to get out of here really quickly, and then I'll go straight into the... What I was talking about earlier. Alright, so we just... It's really simple getting out of here. It's basically just kind of screw attack blocks. Oops. Jump down to walls that you don't need to do. Alright, so... You just kind of find your way out. Now in this room, you just kind of want to make sure you're just using screw deck all the time. Doesn't really matter too much until you get to the very end. Just shoot and just get back into screw deck. Alright. Now all we basically do here is just go up. You can kill the enemies if you want to. And now we're back into sector 1. So we're right there. We got all the um, items. That one room I missed in the green part of where we just were. That's a save room. Alright, so guys, now I'm going to go into what we did before, which was the uh, getting all the items. So I'm going to do it the same exact way, starting with this sector. So, as for the normal part run, we're done, and I'll catch you guys back when we do getting the items. This is Master PL. Jenna. Okay, we're starting with Sector 1. First, you're going to start here. Uh, I kind of start in the middle of the room. So, um, how I do it is I have a play a power bomb, destroy some blocks. I'm going to run over to where the save room is and gain um, the speed boost run. Shine spark to the right, but sure, make sure you destroy the door because you're actually going to need the shine spark run. So, we're going to go into where we destroyed it. You need to make sure you keep the shine spark, jump in the water, head down, go all the way to the wall, and shine spark up. Shoot and hey look a power bomb pack. Okay, for the next one is in the same thing. You want to get the shiny spark again, except the difference is you're gonna head up to this door in the room where you fought the boss to get the charge beam, and where you um, yeah use shiny spark there to get the energy tank. Okay, now we are going to go out here. Um, you don't actually. I'm gonna enter with shiny spark. You actually don't need to. I just did because it made it go faster because for the first one it's all the way on the left side of the room and um, space jumping there kind of takes time so having strength work just cuts down the time. Now the next one you're going to need to use a morph ball and go to the bottom right corner and um, there it is, missile tank. Alright, so um, down to the next one. Alright, we're going to head up and get this power bomb pa pack. 
So basically all you're going to do is when you walk into the room, you're just going to screw attack up and hey look, it's right there. Okay, that's all for this video. In the next episode of Metroid Fusion, we will get the rest of the um, power upgrades and all that power pa power bomb packs, engine tanks, missile upgrade packs, all that jazz. And we will um, read the message right before we go off and beat the game. Alright, so this is Kimash I will check you guys out next time. Jenna!